Watching the love form between uh, Tate's and Kristen was, was actually pretty awesome to watch. It was like a romantic movie. It was like a love story, it was really, it was cute. I guess it was just kind of weird watching them kind of fall for each other. You could tell there's probably something there, but it was just this kind of weird, just like, I don't know, just like feeling that he really liked her and I could kind of tell it, but I didn't want to say anything because I'm the little brother I'm not allowed to say. Okay, so the first time I met Mateo was actually at our orientation at school. We both had a mutual friend there and I was hanging out with um, them because they were the, really the only people I knew. And so um, they went and started talking to Kristen and I just was like, oh dang, she's, she's really pretty. Like I like the red hair, the, the brown, green eyes. I thought he was just like this little baby. <laughs> There was nothing really going on. I was like, oh, he's a new person. I'll talk to him. We're both first years. Like, it's fine. And I just think she's awesome. She seems really smart in the way she talks and um, pronunciates her words. And I was like, oh, dang, she's, she's really beautiful and attractive. But then that eventually all got shut down because she was <laughs> interested in someone else. So um, I, <laughs> there was really no interest. I was kind of interested in someone else at the time. Um, so it wasn't really much. I wasn't too impressed to begin with. Their dating days, I didn't really like see them date as much. Um, but funny, leading up to them dating, Kristen was like friend zoning him for a really long time, giving Mateo like a, a party get pretty much. So that was pretty funny. So when I actually started to really look at Mateo, I just kind of noticed uh, his consistency. He was always at church, he was always at his internship, just always working hard, and I don't know, that just really stood out to me, and he was just kind to anyone in the room, it didn't matter if you were the most popular or the most not, he, he, he was kind to anyone in the room. I told Kristen I liked her, best of my feelings, and um, the funny part about that was uh, she told me she reciprocated, and I just really... Uh, <laughs> I didn't really know what it meant, but like I did, but it was just like a mental block that just had so much like adrenaline and like just chemicals going through my body, so I was just like, oh, wait, what? Oh, you like me? Okay, yeah, cool. So the moment that I realized Mateo was someone that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with was this last summer. I had to do a lot of traveling for my job to go to summer camps, but like while I was gone, I started to like put like all these doubts in my head and get like super scared and freaked out because um, I've never had like a healthy relationship before so I was like almost scared of it and it was like I think I had just got done traveling or I had one more week to do and we went to breakfast and <laughs> he thought it was gonna be a good just a good time and I basically just like spewed like all of my doubts and worries and everything and he just took it so well um, and then later that night he sent me a text um, and he was just like no matter what I want to fight for you I want to make this work like I care so much about you I don't want this to just last a season like I want this to last a lifetime and I don't even know if he like even remember sending that text but for me that was like he's someone that will fight for me and I know that he'll continuously fight for me and so it was just cool that there was just that moment that I realized like he's someone I want to spend the rest of my life with. Kristen brings out the best in Mateo. I think Kristen brings out um, the 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 Jesus of Tate's and the 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 real lovingness that he has uh, for people and just her and it's it's an awesome it's awesome. Just having Mateo in her life has really just kind of improved her as a whole. Other people in the relationship would kind of suppress her, like make her not her full self. And it was kind of weird just to see Kristen shut down, but in this relationship, it's kind of nice to see them just come together and kind of fully embrace each other and their personalities. Mateo, when he first told us about his proposal, it was very like quick. It was very like unexpected. Mateo's proposal. Technically, he proposed to me first because the day before we went down and we have a picture to show it that he that he proposed to me. So sorry Kristen. He he proposed to me first. I love you so much. No. I'm so happy that I got to meet no. you. And God bless me with you through this whole journey. 
and I just really love you. And I'm so happy that you're so patient with me and cook me food all the time. <laughs> and just like let me love you and you unconditionally love me all the time. And I don't want to ask you. Will you marry me? Yeah. Yeah. Shake you a little bit. Yeah. What I love most about Kristen is just her huge heart for God and for people and just to her de determination to just serve and love on people. My hopes and expectations in marriage is just a constant adventure. Um, new things, new places, new people. Um, and I just expect that we'll both always keep God in the center of it. And so keeping God in the center of it all, I know it will just always be an adventure. That's the future Mateo. Uh, <laughs> I promise to go to the gym with you. I will work on not skipping leg day and I will always have your back no matter what in any situation you can count on me as your partner in crime. Have your back always. Um, I won't let you skip leg day and the one request I have is just please don't let me sleep in too much because you know I love to sleep so yeah.